What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here. Um, very special video right now because I want you to see what's possible versus what's impossible. And a lot of people have problems, um, you know, differentiating between the two. When I first turned a few thousand into several million, people said I was lucky, I was a fraud, I was a math genius. And I was like, you know, after breaking down what I've achieved over the years, it's none of the above. There was a little luck when I was first getting started because I was in the right place at the right time, but a lot of people were there. Most of the people lost most or all of their money. I still managed, even with my mistakes, to keep growing gradually over time. Um, it's not fraud, it's a strategy. I've laid out the strategy. And, you know, I'm not that smart. I'm not a math genius. The reality is, is that I've taken a few thousand, turned into a few million, doing the seemingly impossible through thousands and thousands of small trades, through thousands and thousands of small iterations with my strategy. Sometimes I'd be dead on and I would, you know, bet big and I would nail it. That's very rare. Most of the time I would bet small and I would nail it and then I'd be pissed because I should have gone bigger. Sometimes I would go too big and then I would get smacked back down by the market. If you ever get too cocky, the market will humble you. There's so many different ways to look at this, but understand I am not smart. None of my millionaire students are that smart, okay? That's the biggest thing. A lot of people think, oh, look at these millionaires, that'll never happen to me. I am an average person. My millionaire students are average people. If you ever meet with them, if you ever talk with them, I'm not trying to put them down. I'm just trying to be real. None of us are that special. What we have done is stuck with it through the ups and the downs, over the years, through different strategies, through different sectors, um, and you stick with it and you find what works. And this is where the seemingly impossible becomes possible because if you do stick with it, if you do you know, listen to me and you trade small in the beginning or you paper trade in the beginning, and then by year three, year four, year five, you have so much experience that you have an advantage over everybody else who has not made the thousands of iterations. And I know this is like, above most people's heads like they're just like what what are you talking about like just give me stock picks it's not about stock picks there's always going to be another hot stock another hot sector it's a question of what will you do with it will you be prepared mentally to capitalize do you have the right broker do you have enough experience do you know how to make a good trade plan do you have the right risk management all of these things apply you don't just buy a stock and hope to make money i saw this tweet uh, and I thought to myself, I need to make a video about it. This tweet is not about trading at all, but I s immediately applied it to trading because this tweet is about how, you know, uh, people at Ford believed in the Ford Motor Company when they basically invented the automobile so much that they went against society at the time. They went against the norms where everyone's riding horses and they said, you know what? I believe in the Ford Motor Company and they invested their time, they invested their money, they invested their life savings. And guess what? Ford did revolutionize the world and anybody who believed in Ford, you know, they were rewarded handsomely. Same thing has happened every time like the world is revolutionized all the way up to the present, like with Facebook. There's a famous story, I guess we'll include it here, where someone, uh, I think it was, what was it? David Cho? He's a graffiti artist. I don't know the exact name. I told you I'm not that smart, but we'll find a picture and we'll put him up there. He's a graffiti artist hired to do a mural at Facebook's headquarters. Do you get paid in cash? Do you get paid in stock? He chose stock. It was worth over 200 million. That's an expensive mural, but he chose right. So again, you have these stories throughout history over you know a century apart, and I'm sure that there's thousands of other examples in between, but people believing in this new technology, revolutionizing the world and getting paid handsomely. Whether you make a few million on Ford, whether you make a few hundred million on Facebook, that is amazing. But again, these are very you know, specific circumstances. You have to be a good graffiti artist to really even get invited to paint at Facebook. You have to be involved in Ford to even like have the chance. Most people don't have that talent. You're not on the inside of some revolutionary technology or company. So how do you actually make millions or hundreds of millions of dollars? Going back to what I said, 
I'm not that smart. I have no connections at Facebook. I still have thousands of imposters. I'm sorry if you think you're talking to me on Facebook or WhatsApp or Telegram, you're not. They're just imposters. I have no connections to even take down the imposters. It's endlessly annoying. I don't invest for the long term. I don't believe in any long term investments because um, I have the patience of an ant. I oftentimes sell too soon. But I've made millions, again, through thousands of iterations on thousands of trades. My millionaire students have made thousands of iterations on thousands of trades. Small gains add up. Leave that comment in the comments below if you understand that. And it's not just small gains add up like, you know, you're adding 20, you're adding $50, you're adding like $200. I know there's people who put like tips aside if you're working as a waiter or like an Uber driver and you add it to your account and you're buying acorns and you're investing in like companies and you're like, oh, I bought another one share of Apple. It's going to pay off in the long run. That's a crappy way to make a lot of money. I get it. It's good to like save. It's better than most Americans. It's better than most people who are in debt. Um, but you're not going to make very much very quickly just by like little gains adding up and diversifying, which is what most people do. So why do I say small gains add up? Small gains add up and we have to finish the sentence compound greatly over time. Okay. The beauty of what I teach and the beauty of what my students are now exemplifying throughout their success is that when you learn how to trade small, AKA buying a thousand shares of like a $2 stock and selling the thousand shares of the $2 stock at like $2 and 20 cents, making your 20 cents a share, you know, not much, but guess what? It adds up over time because whether you buy a thousand shares, whether you buy 10,000 shares, whether you buy a hundred thousand shares, it's the same trade obviously up to a point I can't buy like 2 million shares, but you can go from like 200 shares to 2000 shares to 20,000 shares to 200,000 shares. And if you make the same trade with a bigger position size, you will really grow your account. So go back to this screenshot of Ford again. This is one of the all time greatest entrepreneurial stories in history. And what did they do? They turned a few thousand into a few million over like a decade plus. What are my top students doing? The same in less than a decade, in less time than it took Ford to revolutionize the world. And so I saw this graphic and I'm like, am I revolutionizing the world? Am I, am I like a digital Ford? Again, I don't think of myself as that special. I know a lot of people think like I'm very cocky. There's a difference between arrogance and experience. I do think that I'm revolutionizing the trading industry just by being blunt and talking about these concepts, showing all my losses having millionaire students show all their gains, show their seemingly impossible stories. Never forget 90% of traders lose. So this whole industry is full of crap. It's full of degenerates. It's full of losers. I'm sorry to tell the truth, but that's the reality. If you do any academic study. So not only am I creating profitable traders with my rules as frustrating and conservative as they may be, and as much time as they take, especially in the beginning to learn, but you can grow a small account of a few thousand dollars into a few million over time. It can happen to you. I'm not saying it will because I can't study for you. I have, you know, thousands of video lessons, DVDs, webinars. If you click the link below, you can join my challenge. But even if you join my challenge, are you going to take your education seriously? This is all up to you. I'm just trying to show you the potential, right? Like when I'm trading from a pool, when I'm trading with a crazy view, most people don't think that's possible. But it is. This is trading life. Okay? Look at this. I've got three phones right here. I've got another phone out there in my backpack. Why? Because I'm all over the place. Do you need three or four or five phones like I do? Probably not. I'm also disorganized. Um, I am not optimized. That's what you have to understand. If I can take a few thousand and turn into several million, with all my mistakes, with my impatience problems, with in the past I've had ego problems, with my crazy traveling, it is possible. And that's what I want you to understand. Like so many people message me and they're like, oh, I'm happy for you. I'm living vicariously through you. That'll never happen to me. Maybe you have someone negative in your life. Maybe your parents, maybe your friends, maybe your coworkers, maybe your boss. And they said, you can do this and you can't do that. And you believe them. And maybe you live in a small town and all your small town people think this is what's possible. This is what's not possible. And you believe it. 
because you're influenced by the people around you. So, you know, I can't, like I said, study for you. I can't like change your life for you, but I can show you everything I've learned and experienced. And because I've broken the mold of all the people in my small town. I grew up in Orange, Connecticut. Almost every single person I grew up with is living in Orange or Milford or Waterbury, like all these crappy towns around where we grew up and they don't really go and see the world. You know, I went to like my high school reunion. They're like, what's Paris like? You can do anything in this life, okay? You can achieve anything, no matter what your parents, your coworkers, your boss, anybody in your life has ever said, anybody on the internet has ever said, anybody in finance has ever said, you can do anything. I need you to understand that because I'm doing the seemingly impossible. My students are doing the seemingly impossible. And if you compare what we've done to like great investments like Ford or Facebook, again, it's crazy to see the similarities where people think it's impossible to turn 5,000 into, you know, five or 10 or 12 million. It is possible when there's a revolution, okay? Ford revolutionized the auto industry. Facebook revolutionized the internet. Now I think that the next revolution is education. And education is not an exact science. Like Ford can make the same kind of car on the assembly line. That's what they did, okay? They standardized everything. That way they can make more cars, more profits, and cars exploded. Facebook standardized, you know, ads and mobile ads specifically. And now companies everywhere can do ads on the internet. Both of these industries are very exact, very specific, very technological. Out of the reach from you, out of the reach from me, unless like you're a programmer or an engineer, if you are, fantastic. I have no programming skills, no engineering skills, not much math skills. What I have is experience and unlimited optimism. Because I've been to over 100 countries now, because I have the 30 millionaire students, even though most traders lose, most of my students don't even bother studying. It's actually very similar to like a gym membership. 90% of people with a gym membership don't go to the gym. Do you guys realize this? We have like five people filming. Everyone say hi. hi. Right? Do you know that 90% of people with a gym membership don't go to the gym? Do you guys realize that stat? Right? From the looks of all of you, you guys understand that. You live that, right? But it's fine. It's okay. It's just reality. Just like, and the reason why I bring it up, not to like, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of these gym guys. I don't know if you could tell. I didn't have just like a, a protein smoothie. I just had a freaking butter pecan chocolate chip cookie. It was delicious. I love food. The reason why I'm saying that is because most people, even if you have access to changing your life, you don't utilize it. If you go to the gym, more often than you don't, you're gonna get better fitness wise. 90% of my students don't study the damn video lessons that they pay me for. Why? Why? They always say this year is gonna be different, right? You have like the, you know, New Year's resolutions. I'm gonna get fit, I'm gonna get smart, I'm gonna get wealthy. That works in January. By February, you put in like half the time. By March, you put in like a quarter of the time. By April, it's gone. Gym membership is actually pretty funny because you can track it. January is the busiest month. February, a little less. March, much less. April is slow. May and June, the gyms pick back up in terms of activity because people are trying to get the summer body. Like, you can actually chart this. Gyms know this. Gyms love this. Gyms work because there's so many lazy people. If everyone went to the gym with a membership, there'd be no room at the gyms. The gyms would go out of business. Gyms count on lazy people. Brokers in finance count on lazy people. They know that 90% of traders are gonna lose. So it doesn't matter what the people are gonna trade, almost everyone's gonna lose. Brokers don't care, they make commissions. Or if there are no commissions broker, they're charging you in other ways with fees or market making. Robinhood is not a good deal, wake up. It's pretty messed up. I, on the other hand, want you to study. It's in my own best interest to create more millionaire students. So I need you to believe that you can do it. I need you taking this seriously. And that's what this whole video is about. Just your perception and your dedication. If you understand that, yes, it is possible to turn a few thousand into several million in a few years. You don't have to wait a decade. You don't have to wait two or three decades, but you do have to study your ass off in the interim. 
You're not gonna turn a few thousand into several million by half-assing your education, by half-assing your trading. So I need dedicated students. And if I can get through, normally you say like, if I can get through to one person, then this video is worth it. I hope I get through to more than one person. This video is gonna have thousands, if not tens of thousands of views. It won't go viral. It's not gonna get hundreds of thousands or millions of views, because still most people hate penny stocks. Most people don't you know, trade enough to actually make it worth it. They love hot stock picks. What I teach is not ever gonna be popular. But I don't do this for popularity. I do this to open your minds, because I didn't have anybody in the beginning of my career believing in me. My parents only gave me $12,000. They thought I would lose it all. They thought it would be a good lesson for me. I screwed up their plans. I took it so seriously and I committed to my education. Tim Gratani started with $1,500. Now at 15 million, he used to be a state farm insurance agent. He wore the cocky pants. He hated it. He got tired of it. He wanted to change. Mark Crook, who's at four plus million. He was a cubicle junkie. He worked in a cubicle as an accountant. He hated it. Now over 4 million, he watched all my videos three times. Jack Kellogg, my newest eight-figure student, over 12 million, he was a valet. He was parking other people's cars. He hated it. He studied while he was parking. Not at the same time, don't study and drive or park. But during his job, during slow periods, he would you know, pop up his mobile phone and study. You're gonna have to study so damn much if you want to do the seemingly impossible, but it is possible. The more you study, the better prepared you are, the better you will be. The more opportunity you will have. It's actually pretty amazing. So you got to go through that grind, especially in the beginning. It doesn't matter if you make any money in the beginning. It doesn't matter if you lose money. Jack Kellogg lost $2,600 year one. He paid me, I think like $6,000 for my challenge, which is what it was at the time. The challenge prices have gone up because we have like a much bigger team now and frankly much more resources if you click the link below you can apply for my challenge you too can pay me a thousand few thousand dollars some people say oh god tim why would you say that i'm just being honest that's what my education costs i still think it's a great deal my whole job in life is to create more millionaires i got to teach you the perception the perspective the education the rules the ups the downs everything again the more prepared you are from learning from stock market history, from learning from my other students, from learning from your own trades as you get more and more experience over time, the better your odds of success in the future. If you've done a thousand trades and you've really, you know, diaried all of them, you've learned the ins and the outs, risk management, planning, what catalysts work, how to trade in bear markets, how to trade in bull markets, how to trade near the market open, how to buy, how to short sell, how to trade at E-Trade, how to use interactive brokers. The more experience you have, all of those little lessons add up so that every trade that you take, you'll have slightly better odds of success. Not that you're gonna win 100% of the time, there's no such thing as being perfect, but there is such a thing as being well prepared. Most people watching this, you're not well prepared. Just being honest. If there's a perfect play right now, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do it. You might have the wrong broker, you have the wrong trade plan, you don't know the chart pattern. You might get lucky, but again, you can't get lucky, you know, for very long. Your luck runs out if you, <coughs> excuse me, try to run on luck for too long. It's not going to work. You're not going to get rich with thousands of trades depending on luck. It might work a little bit and it might be exciting. Or you might be there like in a bubble of 2020 and 2021. All the dumbest people I know made the most money because they just hodled. They hodled on NFTs. They hodled on cryptos. They hodled on penny stocks. Everything that I teach, conservative, risk management, discipline trading, out the window. People said, oh, Tim Sykes, you don't get it. You're a boomer. You're obsolete. I said, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing that I've always done. I didn't lose money in 2020 and 2020, 2021. I actually made over a million dollars each year, my two best years, my only two seven figure years. Usually I make six figures. Going back to this whole concept here, you can do the seemingly impossible. I know that I'm all over the place. That's just the way my mind is. Like I said, I'm not that smart. I'm not that organized. I'm not good at math. <laughs> if you become my student, you'll see. You'll be like, God, Tim, that's, that's embarrassing. You've been doing this 20 plus years. I still screw up. A few days ago, I was undisciplined AF. Lost a third of my yearly gains. 
just on undisciplined trading. I've corrected that. I've, you know, gotten a little profitable. I've sized down. I go through win streaks and losing streaks too. That's what you need to understand. You don't need to be perfect. You don't have to be a genius. You just have to keep learning. And whether you get it in year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, like most of my top students, that is how your journey begins. So don't get discouraged if anyone tells you penny stocks are impossible, trading is impossible, Tim Sykes is a scam, penny stocks are a scam. I've heard it all before. Education is not a scam. This might be a marathon and not a sprint, but it is possible. You don't just get a little gold medal at the end of this marathon. You can get really rich. I know I'm not supposed to talk about money. I know I'm not supposed to say you can do it, but you can. And I don't want to reach one of you. I want to reach dozens, if not hundreds of you. I understand that. There are thousands of people who watch this. I'm only going to reach really a, a small percentage who will truly get it. But that's all I need. Remember, I have thousands of students. I only have 30 plus millionaires. Out of the thousands of students, only like three or 400 people even take their education seriously enough. People say, oh, you have thousands of students. Hardly anybody becomes a millionaire. Hardly anybody studies. If you don't study enough, you're not going to become a millionaire. Going back to what I said, you can't rely on luck. You can't rely on a hot market. All the people who made a lot in 2020 and 2021, right place, right time, they lost most or all their money in 2022 and 2023 when the market changed. Going back to the beginning of what I said, you're going to have to adapt. Different markets bring different opportunities. Will you be prepared? Going back to this Ford photo, going back, is it David Cho? Pascal, can you look it up? Is it David Cho? Yeah. Thank you. David Cho, the graffiti artist. Right place, right time for both of them. They believed in a revolutionary concept. I'm not asking you to believe in any revolutionary concept. I'm asking you to believe in yourself. And I'm asking you to give yourself a chance to succeed by being dedicated, being patient, and recognizing the power of education. I don't even care if you start with penny stocks and you move on to something else. Harry Ye, one of my students, sucked at stock trading. And he's like, Tim, I'm going to crypto. Now he's made hundreds of millions of dollars, blowing away all my stock trading students. Crypto worked for him. Crypto has been the best performing asset of the past 10 plus years. Haters aside, scams aside. There is so much opportunity if you're willing to adapt and willing to try different strategies and see what works for you. I don't care how you become a millionaire. I'm not like, you have to be a stock trading millionaire. You have to do it this way. Do whatever works for you. But if you get obsessed with education and you get obsessed with your journey and you realize that you can do anything, I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised over time. You'll be endlessly frustrated in the beginning. You'll be thinking about quitting in the beginning. I'm going to send you this video if you message me and you think that you should quit. Some people message me like, Tim, I'm not having fun. I've been doing this six months. Yeah, no shit. Learning isn't fun. Grinding isn't fun. Losing money while putting in time isn't fun. We're taught like, you know, we should get paid hourly. Well, good luck trying to become very rich if you get paid hourly. I wish you luck on that because that's going to take a freaking miracle. You don't have enough hours in the day. You don't have enough hours in your life if you just keep getting paid hourly. Sorry, you need compounding strategies. The reason why David Cho got rich painting a mural at Facebook because he accepted Facebook stock. Facebook stocks, guess what, went up exponentially. If he had taken the one-time payment, it still would have been a nice payment, but he wouldn't have made 200 million, he wouldn't have made 20 million, he probably wouldn't have even made 2 million. Facebook was a startup at the time, but he believed in the company. Same thing with Ford. Ford stock grew exponentially. And like I said, I don't have the patience to hold on to any stock to go up exponentially. I always take profits too quick along the way, but taking profits too quick along the way, if you're impatient, if you're cynical like me, it still adds up to millions over time. That's the beauty of this. Like I said, small gains add up. The gains compound. If you learn how to take 10% gains, 10% gains, 10% gains, 3% losses, 5% losses, like you will lose some time, but your gains are bigger than your losses, you're going to grow rich over time. But you have to be disciplined. You can't ever bet too big and say, ah, I'm just going to let this one ride. And then you lose big. You let a small mistake turn into a potential disaster. All it takes is one bad trade to wipe you out. You can win 900 times. You can win 9,000 times. But if you keep going all in and you don't have risk management, all it takes is one to blow you up. I've seen this. 
with traders before. They get too cocky. So at the same time, I say, believe in yourself. Give, your chance, give yourself a chance to succeed. I'm not going to be perfect in my speeches either. But at the same time, understand the risks. You still have to be humble. Even if you've grown your account. Myself, Tim Brittani, Jack Kellogg, we've done the seemingly impossible. Mark Crook, Roland Wolf, Mariana, uh, Matt Monaco, Kyle Williams, Huddy, Dom. Like, there's so many students who have done the seemingly impossible, turning a few thousand into millions, more and more. But none of us can ever get too cocky. We still try to stack small gains added up. We still have to cut losses quickly. So you gotta know your potential, you gotta know the risks, and again, if you stay in this game long enough, in the game meaning not necessarily just stock trading, but the game of education, the game of adapting, the more you educate yourself, the more you adapt, the more opportunity you have. And, you know, I mean, Ford revolutionized cars, Tesla is revolutionizing, you know, electric vehicles, Facebook is revolutionizing the internet and mobile ads. There's other companies now, you got like Roblox, you got Roku, you got Amazon, there's so many different companies out there revolutionizing different things. You don't have to be revolutionary. You don't need this one killer app, this one killer technology, because if you try to go for that, there is a great, great likelihood that you will completely fail. With education, with cutting losses quickly, you might be frustrated in the beginning. You might have losses, like Jack lost 2,600 year one. Tim Grittani made nothing his first nine months. But if you cut your losses small and you keep learning, you don't have to risk disaster. You don't have to like buy these lotto tickets. The way that I teach is where you can make a lot of money over time without risking blowing up. I always say trade scared so that trading isn't so scary. I know it's not fun to be a coward. Like if you say, oh, you're a coward, that's like a put down to somebody in life. In the stock market, I think that's a compliment. If you call me a coward, I would say, thank you. Yes, I am. I have a whole DVD where I talk in a high pitched voice. I'm like, this is how I trade. I'm a cash trade choir boy or a bad Mickey Mouse impression. But that's true. I think that you can trade scared and still get wealthy. This is the way that I teach. This is what I've learned over time. You can trade scared and still make money. There's a saying like scared money don't make money. Yes, it does. If you trade volatile enough assets, scared money. And if I put like my money into like IBM or some giant company where guess what? My account isn't going to grow very much. I'm not going to lose very much, but you take away the upside potential for me in the way that I teach, there is huge upside potential over time. And in the beginning, it's just endless frustration. That's what I'm offering you. Do you want to be frustrated? Again, leave a comment below. Let me know if you understand small gains add up over time. And I'm not saying the same amount of gains. I'm saying small gains compound over time. Your education compounds over time. Your life experience compound over time. But you got to put in the nasty hard work in the beginning. You got to go through the frustration stage. You got to have the losses. You got to learn what not to do. And all of those losses, all of that frustration, all that adapting and tinkering in the beginning helps mold you so that when there are better opportunities later on, when you want to bet bigger later on because you have a foundation of knowledge, you're prepared. I don't want you betting big. I don't want you trading aggressively until you've learned using small size, right? Like think about swimming. You don't just go into the, you know, a middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You don't say, I don't know how to swim. I'm just going to take a boat, drop me off in the Atlantic. I'll find my way back. You're going to die. Okay. You don't need to do that. If you start swimming, start in the shallow end, put some little floaties on your arms. Who cares if people laugh at you? We all start somewhere. This is the thing. You might have a hundred dollars to your name. You might have a thousand dollars to your name. And again, the disapproving, discouraging, negative, toxic people in your life will say, Blah, 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 negative, negative, negative. And you might be tempted to listen to that. Don't listen to it. Say, thank you for your tip. But in your mind, say, shut up, you fool. Shut up, you negative, toxic person. You got to weed negative, toxic people out of your life. Or if you can't weed them out of your life, at least weed them out of your mind and out of your mindset. You can do anything. I have seen it with myself and now with students galore. I've traveled all over the world. So many people can do so much more. They just need to believe in themselves and then they need to put in the time and effort. People get stuck. They don't believe in themselves. 
they're screwed. Work a nine to five job, hate your life, go out on the weekends, drown your sorrows because you're miserable, watch a fantasy film, play video games, pretend you don't have a life. And then, you know, live your sadly, you know, horror story of a life every day with no chance to change because you don't believe in yourself, because you don't invest in your education. Invest in your education, believe in yourself, expect the worst in the beginning, but be optimistic and understand that it is a marathon and not a sprint. Year four, year five, year six, year 10. So I'm filming this right now in early 2023. What can you do right now, this week, this month, this year, to make your best year 2030? I know that sounds weird, like what? It's 2023, what about 2024 through 2029? No, those years are gonna suck. You're gonna be focused on your education. Can you think like that? Most people can't. Most people want money right away. They want change right away. Who knows where the world is gonna be? Who knows what's gonna happen five, six years from now? But I'm telling you, if you invest in your education, you take it seriously, you will be shocked and not just what your profits will be five, six, seven years from now, because ideally you'll have enough education and you'll be able to take bigger size and then reward yourself with that bigger size and that education and all that preparation will pay off. But you will be shocked at how knowledgeable you'll be. I'm just your training wheels, okay? I've done it before, I've seen my students do it, I've guided my students to do it, more and more of my students are doing it. We're using all of this compounding, all of this knowledge to change our lives, and that's what you can do. The power of compounding over time. And I'm not talking about just Ford stock or Facebook stock or any stock. What if there's a lost decade in the stock market? It's happened in the past. We've been very fortunate in America. We just think that there's like this perma bull market. We're also in debt. The US dollar is in doubt. I don't know if the next decade is gonna be as good as the past decade. But I do know that if you Focus on your education. Your next decade is going to be far better than your past decade. You just need to focus and you need to have the right perspective. That's what this video is all about. That's what my teachings are all about. Some people say, oh, Tim, you have too many videos. I don't want to watch them. Give me the top five. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up and stop being so lazy. Study all my videos. Play them at half speed. Some people say, oh, I want to speed up your videos. That'll save me time. Shut up. Take in every single nuance. There is no detail that is too unimportant for you to learn. The biggest money is in the smallest details. You might not realize it, you know? Even some of my haters come back three, four, five years ago, I now understand what you were talking about, Tim. I wish I would have listened. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm trying to get you on the right track. I'm not like an I told you so kind of guy. I don't care whether you learn in five years or three years or if you believe me right away. The sooner you invest in your education, the sooner you really get on the right track, the sooner you'll have better odds, the sooner you'll be more self-sufficient. All my top students are self-sufficient. They don't need me. They have their own patterns, their own place. They actually laugh at how conservative I am. Many of my students are very aggressive because they put in the hard work, because they have a foundation of knowledge. That's what I'm here to help you build. Con you know, consider me a builder. My ancestors built the pyramids in Egypt. They're still standing. They didn't have a choice. They were slaves. I do have a choice. And I choose to help you build your foundation of knowledge. Call it corny. Call it whatever you want. But that's what we're doing here. You need that foundation to build off of. If you don't have a foundation, if you know anything about architecture, buildings without a foundation, they crumble. I don't want you to crumble if your knowledge account is a building, if your brokerage account and your savings is like a building, okay? Click them links below. I have to get going, my voice is getting hoarse. You have this potential. You don't need to invest in some revolutionary technology. You don't need inside information or to be a part of any big company. You need to do it yourself. You need to put in the time. That's today's lesson. Leave a comment below, let me know if you're gonna be dedicated.